What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. This is the Arnell Agenda, and I am your host, Lawrence Arnell. I, I thank you. I thank you for joining me today. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Uh, today is New Year's Eve, and I wanted to check in with y'all with a story. Uh, in honor of New Year's Eve, the story uh, originates from the home of the ball drop, New York City. Okay. It hits kind of close to home for me because it features a few colleagues of mine. Uh, for those of you who do not know me well, please know I am a law enforcement official. I'm a Philadelphia police detective. I've been a detective for three years. I've been a cop for nine. See, more than my share of what there is to be seen, okay? But this story actually features a few colleagues of mine, some New York NYPD officers, New York's finest. New York's finest, not having their finest hour, if I must say so myself. There is a video going around on social media. Once again, my social media is on fire with these videos. Uh, two NYPD cops on the street. Uh, I'm not sure what, what, what borough they're in, uh, but they are conducting a pedestrian investigation. That is an investigation of a male on the highway. There is no indication of what the actual reason for the stop is, uh, but they are stopping this gentleman. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they're stopping for a lawful purpose. That there, there hasn't seemed to be any any question of why they were stopping him yet. That doesn't seem to be too much of an issue in any of the videos that I've seen. But they are stopping this male. And at some point during that particular investigation, the male subject steals the male officer. Sucker punch. Well, bam. <laughs> okay. Now, these guys, they struggle on the ground for a little bit. The guy sucker punches the cop. He grabs him, tosses him to the ground. Now, they struggle. His female partner is seen grabbing the male subject, telling him to stop and get off of her partner. All right. She's calling for help over the radio. Meanwhile, the male officer who been stole is on the ground. <laughs> Listen, if this was an MMA match, the subject got my, got the male officer in what they would call a full guard, okay? If you know anything about jujitsu, full guard is when you are fully on top of a person and have full control of him. He got this officer in full guard out there in the middle of the street. And a uh, female officer is trying to get the man off the partner. All right? Sir, get off him. Come on now. Come on, son. Dead ass. Get off my partner, B. <laughs> like the whole deal, man. And uh, she, she strikes him with a baton a couple of times. It, it, uh, a couple of times. She hits him with a she hits him a couple times. She gave him she gave my man a spanking. She gave, she gave the subject a spanking with an asp. That <laughs> it was listen. <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of feedback on my social media feeds about this video i mean people are saying everything from this woman shouldn't be a cop to take her badge she don't deserve a badge uh, I'm, I'm seeing i'm it, it, here's stuff like that to me personally it bothers me because i see a lot of mistakes in this video i see a lot of mistakes in this video uh I don't know if, you know, the fitness for the job is is one of the mistakes that I'm seeing. I can't say that for sure. What I will say is one of the first things I was taught when I joined the police department, one of the first things they teach you in training is that your number one goal is to protect yourself. Now, to the public, that might sound like make it home at any means necessary at all costs especially with a lot of stuff you see in the media these days people think that's all cops care about is themselves in the street anyway the theory behind protect yourself first is that if i can't if i can't protect myself i can't protect anybody else you understand if i can't help myself i can't help you Okay, if I'm in the street and I get sucker punched and tossed to the ground and now I'm rolling around on the ground and I got a subject on top of me at full guard, I ain't no use to nobody. It's no different than running into a situation hot, lights and sirens, you in your car. If I get into an auto accident on my way because I'm not paying attention to the rest of the traffic around me and I crash my police car, I can't help the people I was in a hurry to get to to begin with. 
you must protect yourself first. Officer Winslow in this video made the very first and most critical mistake in this entire video. I do not understand how my man Winslow got so close to this subject. Somebody you trying to stop, you are impeding upon this man's friend, uh, freedom at this time. How are you not prepared to get stolen? How are you not under the impression this boy might take a poke at you? If you're looking at this officer's uh, body cam footage, uh, my man wanted to hit this cop a long time ago. He might have wanted to hit this cop last week. Okay, so how is my man not prepared to get stole? How you get stole and rolled? And how is anybody else, especially my fellow law enforcement officers watching this video, how are y'all watching this video and criticizing this woman who not only gave verbal commands, but physically, I don't know how strong she is. Maybe she ain't the strongest, but she's physically got her hands on this guy. She's trying to help. She's doing the she's doing the number two thing. The number two most important thing you could do when it comes to being in a confrontation as a police officer. I learned this. This was the second most important thing I learned in the police academy. Know where you are. She's giving out instructions that she needs backup and she gave them the exact location. Look how fast the backup got there. They were there within minutes, less than two minutes they was there because she kept her head she kept her head, she kept her cool. Her partner on the ground, he can't fight neither. So why would she dive in any further when she can see what the situation is and realize that ain't neither one of them gonna be able to do nothing with this man? The best thing I could do is keep my head, get on this radio, get some backup here. Maybe one of the people that show up will actually know how to fight. Uh, you tell me. She hit the bull with the asp. Now that is not, I'm asp trained. <laughs> this this, <laughs> this patty whack move she did with the ass is that's not the way you train to use the ass. Now, what I will say is she probably is not prepared to use the asp in the way that it's trained because she could hit her partner. Maybe she not OC in the dude because she don't want to OC Winslow. He already been stole. Why would you run the risk of OC spraying them? <laughs> Listen, my partner OC spray me. It's going to be another fight back at headquarters. Y'all got to take it easy. Y'all got to take it easy. It's, it's easy to judge somebody from the outside looking in. As police, we ought to know better. We ought to know better than the judge was happening there because half of y'all can't fight. Hmm? What's up? Half y'all can't fight. Let somebody take your belt away from you and then punch you in the face. Half half the cops I see commenting on some of the, on this video couldn't do nothing to defend themselves in real life either. Take it easy. All right. Take a step back before you get the judge. That woman did everything she could. She did what we know she could. Now, her preparedness for battle is a totally different thing, but she, def she definitely kept her cool. As a matter of fact, at the end of the video, you could see her grab her partner and tell him, no, come on, John, come on, John, because John was trying to get back in there after John already got stolen rolled. He was trying to get back in there. Now the backup there, he want he want to get he want to get his too. She she probably saved she probably saved Winslow's job. I bet you she saved Winslow's job because he was on his way back in there for some more. And that was unnecessary. Reasonable, necessary force. She was reasonable. <laughs> I, I would I would probably rather have somebody else with me. It looked like the sergeant put two liabilities together. <laughs> like them two don't need to work together. But y'all don't need to be judging them. Everybody made it out of there safe. No, no injuries worth speaking of. I mean, apparently the, the subject is back on the street. I've seen more Facebook posts. People posting pictures of him. People posting pictures. I'm popping all in y'all ears. Man, they posting pictures of him. He back on the street already, so clearly he wasn't hurt that bad. Nobody even got hurt. Now, if they had shot that man, everybody be losing their minds. Listen. Be a little slower on the trigger when it comes to judgment. Try to take all things into account. As law enforcement officials, that's the number one thing we should be doing anyway. We got to take everything into account. 
Don't be so quick to judge. It could be you on that video getting stolen and rolled one day, Officer Winslow. Look, man, uh, I thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate y'all help, and I love all the support. Uh, this has been the Arnell Agenda. My name is Lawrence Arnell. I thank you for being here. And whatever you do, please do good first. I'll catch y'all next time.